I am at Taco Bell and I am about to get my double decker taco. Let me get a double decker taco and that's it. Thank you. So I'm buying this double decker uh, to compare against Del Taco's Crunch Taco. Thank you. Okay, now on our way to Del Taco. Here we are at the Del Taco. Let's go through the drive through No one's eating right now because it's about 5 p.m. Welcome to Del Taco, what can I get for you? Queso Crunch Taco, that's it. All right, it's gonna be 218 at the window. Thanks. Thank you. So here we are at Del Taco Queso Crunch Taco and a Taco Bell Double Decker Taco. The Double Decker Taco is something I've had for a very long time at Taco Bell. So I'm very curious, I've actually never ever had Del Taco before. And if you look around the Bay Area of California, there's only a handful of Del Tacos. So since what I know what a Double Decker Taco tastes like, I'm gonna try the Del Taco first. But let me just unwrap it and then just kind of show you what they look like side by side. Now Taco Bell gave me one, two, nine napkins for one Double Decker Taco seven packets of hot sauce, and of course the taco itself, $2.40, $2.18, roughly about the same. Heft-wise, it feels like the Del Taco is slightly heavier even though it's cheaper. Del Taco gave me four napkins, four packets of hot sauce. They didn't ask me how hot I want it, too mild and too hot. And also a coupon, start your day with breakfast fiesta Del Taco, $2.40. This is the Del Taco. It looks like it's more well put together. It's a little bit more hefty than the Taco Bell one. I've had Taco Bell Double Decker Tacos before and this one seems on the slimmer side. Of course, these are not apples to apples comparison because the Double Decker Taco has beans in between it, which is what I really like about it. The queso crunch taco actually has cheese in between instead. So what I think I'm gonna do is try them side by side. First, I'm gonna try the del taco, so let's see. Has taco taste. I'm really missing out on the beans. I really, really like the beans in the Double Decker. It's almost the cheese is missing in this Double Decker taco here. I wonder if Taco Bell copyrighted this Double Decker taco. Like, you cannot copy it and put beans in between a hard taco and a soft taco. That's why Del Taco, well, they go, oh, we can't put beans? Okay, let's just put something else that's kind of like it and then, you know, just sell that instead. About 22 cents less and yet the taco is bigger, but you're missing beans here. Let me show you guys what's behind here. It's like a layer of cheese. The cheese is actually a little bit spicy when I just had it by itself. I think this would actually replace a Double Decker taco for me. If I'm having a huge craving and there's only a Del Taco around, yes, I can get the Queso Crunch Taco, but it's also cheaper. So given a Taco Bell and a Del Taco side by side, uh, it's gonna be a really tough decision for me to go, hmm, okay, I'll pay a little bit more for the Double Decker Taco. Now here's a Double Decker Taco, and let's see what's in between here. Look at it, it's like a layer of beans which is what I'm after, like that. Sort of like a taco, but not a burrito. The thing I don't like about a taco is because the outside is so hard. When you bite into it, it might dig into your mouth and also the taco might break apart and the things will fall out from the taco. With the soft taco shell, when you bite into it, it can break all at once and it's gonna stay in there. The crunchiness stays around, all the filling stays inside because of the soft taco wrap. I just think it's an advancement in taco technology. It seems like there's some sort of cheese at the very bottom, I'm not sure. You guys take a look at this. At the bottom over here, it looks like there's some cheesiness or something. Maybe they put a layer of cheese and then put the meat on there. The annoying part about a taco or a double decker taco is that one bite, it's not gonna get you across the whole taco. Sometimes when you bite at the bottom, yeah, you get the meat, but then you also have to take like a secondary bite over here to get some of the cheese and the lettuce. Here is a mid-taco comparison. Del Taco, Taco Bell. The difference between these two tacos, 
They're slightly different after all. This one has cheese between the hard taco layer and the soft taco layer. This one has beans between the hard taco layer and the soft taco layer. The del taco seems to be a little bit more generous with the meat. It feels a little heftier. It also has diced tomatoes on the top. Whereas for the double decker taco is already more expensive and you have to get the supreme one in order to get the tomatoes on top. Now I'm gonna add some spicy hot sauce to both of them and see how they compare. I've added the hot sauce. Of course I didn't do any kind of weird cross breeding here. I put del taco hot sauce on the del taco one. Taco Bell hot sauce in the Taco Bell one. So let me try the Taco Bell one first. I would say the hot sauce sort of covers up the taste a little bit. I can immediately feel a tanginess or vinegary taste inside the hot sauce right when I bite into it. I did put a lot of hot sauce. So now for the Del Taco version. The hot sauce does seem like it's kind of tomato-y, so let's see. Mm, and it does taste a bit more tomato-y. It's more like a hot salsa rather than a hot sauce. Yeah, I like it. Mm, it does seem like there's more content in it, like there's tomato. So let me look up this packet and see. Yeah, water, tomato paste, distilled vinegar, spices, salt, garlic, food starch, modified sodium, benzoate, preservative, dehydrated. Manufactured for Del Taco. Whereas the hot sauce for Taco Bell is water, jalapeno pepper, tomato paste, vinegar, food starch modified, less than 2% of salt, chili pepper, blah, 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 blah. Well, it does have tomato paste, but you can clearly tell that it does not have as much tomato paste. Let me continue eating this and add more hot sauce. Keep in mind, I just had a pork cutlet for lunch. It's around 5 p.m. It's only been several hours since I ate, but you know, I usually can eat and eat again several meals a day. Now in the beginning, I know I counted the number of napkins and pieces of hot sauce. This varies widely depending who's packing the food. I'm gonna put more of this hot sauce. I'm gonna really enjoy the added tomato paste. It certainly has more cheese and I do like more cheese. Seriously, first time having Del Taco for me. Um, I think I'm a fan, I will come back. Water. I'm not gonna review any soda, of course, because you shouldn't be drinking the soda anyway. That was delicious. So yes, instead of working at an engineering job these days, I like to park at a Del Taco and review fast food. So thanks for watching everybody. I know this is quite different than what I normally do. It's just out of my own curiosity because I like Double Decker Taco so much, I want it to find out what Del Taco has to offer. If you're interested in supporting my channel, I have an audible link down in the video description below. I have a Patreon over here, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.